Luis y Progreso, Honor and Respects. This is Sancista Brujo Luis. And I will be doing a series on folk saints and how they are uh, venerated and honored uh, within folk magic traditions within Latin America. And the first thing that I want to focus on today is one that I've gotten a lot of questions about, which is San Desacedor, which you see right here. San Desacedor. Sorry about that. So today's video is on this santo and how he is uh, honored and how he is venerated within various folk branches of spirituality and magic within Latin American culture on San Sista Brujo Luis. So San Desacedor, or Saint Andur, as he is known, uh, a lot of people ask me, who is this saint? Because they cannot find him, uh, you know, within the Catholic saints and all that. Well, one is because you're looking in the wrong direction. His name was not actually San Desacedor. Desacedor is the Spanish word for that which you undo. Desacer, to undo. So a lot of people have named him Saint Undoer. And in actuality, his name was Saint Charalambos. Uh, and there's variations of the name. There's uh, Charalampas. Uh, Charalampus, Haralampus, Haralampos, Haralabos, and Haralambos. Okay, so a lot of people are searching for this saint. And I'll show you some pictures of paintings of this saint. He's widely venerated in many uh, Greek traditions. And this saint was brought uh, to the Latin America. It's very popular in a lot of Latin American cultures. So I just wanted to show you that a lot of people are like, who is this saint and who, who was he? San Charalampos, or San Desacedor, as we're going to call him in the Spanish uh, way, he lived in ancient Greek, in an ancient Greek city known as Magnesia, or Magnesia, during the reign of uh, Septimus Severus. So he lived around uh, 193 to 211 A.D., and he was martyred at the age of 113 years, yeah, 113 years old. And his feast day is February 10th. San Desacedor is known as the patron of shepherds or those who have lost their ways. And he is petitioned. He's a very popular folk saint, a throughout the Caribbean, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Latin America, South America. Very well a saint, well-known saint. He's petitioned to dominate enemies, to help with lower level spirits. He's petitioned for uh, aiding and cleansing the house or properties uh, from witchcraft or sorcery. He helps in dominating occult enemies to flip a jinx or a cross condition. He's a uh, he's he's petitioned to aid in discarding black magic or uh, fetishes used uh, to cause harm. Uh, he helps in uh, destroying evil spirits or removing spirits. He's petitioned to undo and remove all forms of black magic. He gives protection from the evil eye and envy and from, you know, discord within friends and families. So he's a well-known popular saint within the Latin or Hispanic communities and also in Greece, where even today in Greece, on his feast day, which could fall either on February 9th or February uh, 10th, there are many who still are devoted to San Charalampos and they still offer or make a sacrifice of a bull on his honor on his feast day. Now that I've talked to you a little bit about who he is or who he was as a saint, I want to talk to you a little bit more about the various ways he's seen as a folk saint or folk spirit within the various branches of Hispanic 
folk magic and spirituality um, and how he's viewed as a loa or a misterio okay and as a loa many confuse him with being the spirit of death which he is not he is not iku okay he is not la santisima muerte he is not a uh, the taino spirit of death maketauri guayaba he is not the hebrew angel of death azazael or malak al maut or any angel of death from any culture he is the spirit of the dead but he is not the spirit or angel of death he is what we label in spanish as a psicopumpo or in english as a psychopump which is more of a guide of souls, whose responsibility is to escort newly deceased souls from earth to the afterlife. His role is not to judge the deceased or those who have passed away or died, but simply to guide the spirit of the deceased to where they need to go in the afterlife. Often they are accompanied by other entities such as black horses, uh, black dogs, ravens, crows, owls, sparrows, and vultures. And sometimes he's accompanied by the lost or a, a, a chained spirit or an entity that many attribute to a spirit or a lost soul of limbo or purgatory. So there was a time long, not so long ago actually, when it was prohibited for slaves to practice any form of African religion or ancestral veneration, or even honoring the memory of your dead. And this was not that long ago in our history. So African slaves found interesting ways of honoring not just their, their divinities or their deities, but also the memories of their, their deceased. And simply they did this by hiding these divinities and the memories of these heroes or, or, or their ancestors within a Catholic saint. Why did they, they, they did this? Well, because at any moment, an overseer or the master could come into the slave quarters and they could see or they would see uh, the slaves uh, if they were venerating an African god or African traditions that they could they could suffer the consequences. So the Africans were very smart enough to hide not just the memories of their divinities, their Orisha or their Loa, but also the memories of their heroes uh, within imagery of folk, saints, or saints in itself. So in this sense, you will see that saints were used as a way of honoring the memory of not just divinities, but also uh, uh, the memories of their ancestors or the memories of someone who may have lost their life for a cause. And if the slave master was to walk into the quarters, they would see them honoring a saint and it would be perfect when in all actuality they were honoring uh, the ancient Orisha, the Loa, or the spirit of the dead. So many times, San de Sacedor is synchronized with the spirits of Cimarones or Cimarón African slaves who are known or were known for uh, their brutality during the independent struggles of African slavery, slavery within the Caribbean. And some attribute a San de Sacedor with the spirits of Congo or Congo spirits and others. Uh, synchronize them with Petro spirits or Gede spirits, which are a group of spirits or a class of spirits known in voodoo. In the Gede point or the Gede punto, San de Sacedor is synchronized with the energies of Baron Sumbi or Baron Sabalu, uh, which comes in various names. There's Baron del Sabado, Baron Samedi, Baron Sambi or Baron Sandi. Now in the background, I am placing a song by the Afro-Cuban singer, Celia Cruz. Now the song is dedicated to Gede Zaina, or Gede Zaina, or Gede Araña, a very popular Gede spirit that has made his way into 
uh, Afro-Latin culture. So I wanted to put some music in the background just to honor that Gede spirit. Now, the San Desacedor or uh, Baron uh, Zumbi is known by various puntos or points, each having a saint synchronized with that punto or that point. Uh, some, such as El Baron del Cementerio, El Baron de la Cruz, or Baron Criminelo. As Baron Zumbi, or Baron Zumbi, Baron Zumbi often resides within the forests near the cemeteries or within trees within graveyards where his offerings are often left. And many confuse him with El Baron del Cementerio, which I will leave a picture or a video of who we use as El Baron del Cementerio in Sunset and in 21 Division. And I know that in Voodoo, they use San Martin de Porres to represent El Baron del Cementerio. Now, these are all points of the same energy of spirit, which is going to make it a little bit more confusing. So a lot of people ask me, who is the spirit under San Desacedor? Or who is that slave? Who is that chained man? And in art, you will often see uh, old paintings. You will see that this man is uh, painted as a demon or a devil or Satan himself. So who is this chained spirit? Well, one of the greatest authors who was also a spiritualist and the writer of one of the greatest classics of all time, The Christmas Carol, describes it best when he, when he describes the depiction of Jacob Marley, the first spirit that visited uh, Ebenezer Scrooge. And in that, I remember the quote, it says, I wear the chains I forged in life replied the spirit. I made it link by link and yard by yard. I girdled it on my own free will and of my own free will, I wore it. You will see a lot of uh, images of saints, not just San Desacedor, but a lot of saints, Saint Michael with the dragon or the devil at his feet. You will see San Jorge, Saint George, the dragon slayer, uh, San Elias del Monte Carmelo, and also, uh, La Virgencita de, del Monte Carmelo, you will often see uh, spirits or lost souls or demonic entities under their feet. So now that we know that this santo within Sanse and in 21 Division and in Voodoo, it is Baron uh, Sambi, okay, or, or Sumbi, who is this? Okay, because even Santa Marta Dominadora, if you see the images of Santa Marta Dominadora, even the serpents that she holds are spirits, and even the child that sits on her lap is a spirit, and that is for another topic. But who is this? Well, a lot of people uh, call him or her Feribunda, Feribunda, or Feribundo, or they associate it with the Congo point of spirits known as Bakulu. In Voodoo and in 21 Division, Bukulu or Bakulu Baka is such a terrifying spirit that no one dares to invoke these, these energies. These spirits are often aggressive and very fiery and are often seen dragging huge chains behind them. In the Congo traditions, the Bukulu has to do with ancestral guardians that are very hot tempered. While in Voodoo, the Bakulu Baka, and also 21 Division, and in Sanse, uh, the Bakulu Baka are hot tempered, wild spirits, uh, usually dealt with in rural areas, uh, in secluded areas. They are often treated like diablos and are very short tempered. Their energies are felt in trees, such as the Seba, uh, within the, 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 the 
uh, with the witching or the devil's hour, or they're often seen uh, dragging their chains within graveyards. They often appear with red glowing eyes and have uh, uncouth mannerisms. The Bakulubaka are dangerous spirits and should not be ever invoked, period. Uh, but the, they are very dangerous and are best always left alone. Now, Feribunda or Feribunda. The word Feribunda or Feribundo in English means ferocious spirits and are often used to attack enemies and uh, and resides within the cemetery, but often come back to those calling on them with a price. So when you work with these spirits, remember, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. They are seen as espíritus intranquilos, in tranquil spirits, espíritus tormentados, tormented spirits, or espíritus trastornados, or torturados. In the Dominican 21 Division, Division eh, La 21 Division Dominicana, Bulu, Bu, Buculubaca is often synchronized with San Felipe. Okay? Uh, and some synchronize it with Los Espíritus de las Furias, or the Furies. Now, going back to San de Sacedor, okay, which you see right here. He's often uh, given offerings and he has colors associated with him and like any other spirit. So his colors are red, white, black, purple, and yellow. And his number is three and nine. He is venerated as a powerful spirit which can help take away all negativity around a person who is highly devoted to this santo. So you just can't, you know, call on this santo Take him out, and, and because you're you're suffering a problem, it's a, he will protect more the person who has a close relationship uh, with that person. Like I said, he loves red handkerchiefs. He loves to drink dark rums, gin, dark whiskey. He's always given a uh, unsweetened dark coffee, often in a tin, or yeah, in a tin. Uh, coffee cup, always with a cigar placed on top of it. And people often do revocaciones or revocations to San de Sacedor. Now here you see a revocación to San de Sacedor. He's often offered a revocation which consists of water and salt within a glass which is turned over and a candle or a candle lit on top of the 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 revocacion or on top of the, the 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 glass the glass is always placed on a white a, a white plate the salt is often mixed with the index finger of the left hand or the pointer and often the person recites, as the salt dissolves within this water, so will any magical work, evil spell, bad thoughts, evil eye, wagging tongue, or harmful intention sent towards me may it dissolve. Now this work is often left on the altar or on the floor next to the front door for 24 hours. The work is often discarded at a four-way junction within the witching hour, which consists consists around uh, 12 o'clock midnight until 2 a.m. or at the devil's hour, which is between the hours of 3 and 4 a.m. And everything is either left there or broken there. As the person recites San de Sacedor, here I leave all the bad things that surround me. And often the person leaves the place without looking back, and they, and they do not go back to that area for at least seven days after they make uh, that offering. Now, during those seven days, uh, candles or vigil is given to seven to nine days. A vigil is given of black candles. Okay. And it's usually done by the, by the, by the side or the entranceway of the door. 
Now, it's always done in the name of San de Sacedor. The lit candle or the black candle is often confused by those who see it as a form of black magic, but it is more of a symbol of giving light to all those energies that creep in the darkness of night. So you're giving light to that, the darkness. You're giving light to that which is dark and that which surrounds you. So now to end the video, I am going to offer a prayer, both in Spanish and in English. But before I do so, I'm going to ask that if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, please hit the like button, and please smash the bell button so that you can receive notifications of when I post a future videos. So I'm going to do the, the prayer, both in Spanish and in English. So I will start in Spanish. Oh poderoso San de Sacedor, justiciero contra la maldad y la codicia, hoy vengo humillado a tus plantas a pedirte permiso para que según yo vire a esta vela que tengo en la mano, así se le vire a mis enemigos lo malo que me estén haciendo, sea hombre o mujer, declarado o sin declarar, visible o invisible. Santo glorioso, héroe contra el mar y la injusticia, yo te ruego que según yo he venido humilde a tus pies, así mismo deseo lo hagas con mis enemigos, mis contrarios, haciéndolos venir humillados a mis pies. En el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo y la Corte Celestial, que con estas palabras bendita llame yo a mis enemigos y vengan dominados a mis pies, como fue dominado Satanás a los pies de San Miguel. Que ojos tengan y no me vean, corazón tengan y sean prisioneros, sentidos y en mí no piensen, cuchillos y no me corten, Armas tengan y no me disparen, boca y no me hablen. San deshacedor, deshaz en mi casa toda mar que en ella se encuentre, convirtiéndolo en bien, que todo el que pretenda disponer de algo de mi persona, que se les dé, que se les deshaga esa idea y quede arrepentido. Oh santo justiciero contra la maldad, tú que eres santo de gran poderío, deshaz cualquier mala idea a quien mi enemigo quiera o pueda ser. Así sea y así será, y así siempre será. Amén. And in English it is, Oh most powerful saint, Andor, or Saint Desacesador, judge of those who do evil and those whose hearts are full of greed. I humble myself before you to ask that as I light this candle in reverse, may my enemies' malintentions fall short of desire. Saint Desacesador, glorious hero who fights evil and injustice, I beseech you. I beseech you, just as I humble myself at your feet, I ask that I may be able to see my enemies humbled at my feet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, and of the celestial courts, may these words serve to call out my enemies, so that they may fall humiliated at the feet of the devil. As the devil felt humiliated at the feet of St. Michael, eyes they may have, but they cannot see me. Hearts they may have, but cannot feel a negative emotion against me. Minds they may have, but they will not think of me. Weapons may they have, but they will not pierce my flesh. Mouth may they have, but cannot utter a word against me. Feet may they have, but they cannot reach me, and hands may they have, but they cannot touch me. Saint Desacesador, Andur, Saint Desacesador, excuse me, Saint Andur, undo all evil sent towards my home. May anyone having vile thoughts against me, may it be erased from their heads. Undo any evil sent my way. 
And may only blessings and prosperity in my path arise and flourish. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. This is San Sisto. And please hit the notification button so that you can get notified of future videos. Sancista Brujo Luis. Santa.